Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Hope it's all fantastic. Everything here is great. No, this is not a package from one of you. This is stuff that I ordered. And this, uh, what's in this box will serve as a sort of talking point for this entire video. The other day, uh, or I don't know, last week, it's in a recent video, I should learn how to say that more often, uh, I mentioned big making things and, and the way that I, when I make something, for instance, making shelves for M, uh, that I, that, for holding her manga, those are just five boards screwed together, basically. There's no screws in those, but there's five boards put together, right? Uh, and the reason there's no screws in those is because screwing five boards together is not exciting for me, and it's something that I don't want to do right? Uh, I want to figure out new things or new ways, right? So with that particular project, I decided to do dados and rabbits and use uh, dowel joinery, stuff that I have sort of done, but not like that, right? So what I have learned about myself over the years is that I, I enjoy problem solving more than I enjoy the making right? I've been making since I was a toddler. I've been making, I've made everything, you know, from boxes to furniture to drawers and shelves and, um, you know, welding product. Like, I just make stuff. It's what I do. But the part of that that excites me is the problem solving, is the doing something new. So this cabinet that I, that's been sitting here all week, you've seen this sitting here all week. This is a simple router table cabinet that's going to hold my router. It's just cut some plywood panels and screw it together. That's literally all it is. It's like a couple of hours of work, right, to make the cabinet part. Now the drawers are, they'll take a while. I'll have to make drawers, custom fit, all that sort of stuff. Getting the router insert plate fitted, that's going to take some extra time. You know, there's lots of little steps, but none of that is new problems for me to solve. It's just, I've done this stuff before. And it's just a, the, the, you just have to go through it. And I do not enjoy that part of making. It's the reason I don't normally take commissions for things that I have already made. I, I post most of my projects on Instagram and f I don't say, I want to say all the time, but very frequently I will post a project and somebody will say, oh, I love that. Will you make one for me? And my answer is no, I won't. Uh, if you want something similar, we can work out, you know, but I, no, I don't enjoy just repetition. Uh, I, it's not the making that really gets me going. It's the problem solving. It's the figuring out new ways to do things or like this title, this video says leveling up. It's, it's learning a new part of the, the thing that I'm doing. And so this box is a leveling up box. This is going to be something I haven't done. This is not exciting. Uh, I, I, I've kind of maybe maybe talked this up a little too much, but this is a new skill for me that in this box, um, because this is something I've not done before. Uh, well, this part this part isn't really a new skill. I'll show you that in a second. And that is um, Euro hinges. I've never done overlay hinges. Now, when I designed this project, the intention was to have inset just box type drawers no drawer slides just you know this is a shop project very similar to the drawers that i have underneath my miter saw station i was going to make box to slide in holes and that's it but there is a center section on this plan where the router sits and i need to have a door there something i can open and access to clean it out or to change the speed on the router or something like that that needs to be a door and in order to make that a door, it needs to either sit outside, so not inset, or I need to have inset hinges that account for that, which are very, very expensive. And so in the process, I decided to try um, full overlay hinges. Full overlay hinges means they're very similar. Probably you have something like this on your kitchen cabinets. It's where the door is overlaying the frame. And so what the hinge does is as you open the door, it pulls the door out a little bit so that it can swing without binding. Uh, that's all it means. They're 
some people call them cup hinges. This is a very inexpensive, uh, I think there's five packs of hinges in here and I think I paid less than $20. These are usually like 15 to $20 per set of hinges, per two hinges. So these are super, super cheap, you know, not recommended for professional use hinges, but that's fine for a leveling up scale. I also purchased the Craig Concealed Hinge Jig. This uh, jig comes with a bit that's sized to fit these hinges. You pop it on, drill, you're done. Super easy. I figured if I'm going to be doing these in the future, which I probably will, you know, I'd like to build, rebuild this section and have actual cabinets and put doors on them, and so I will use these. I thought I would level up. I thought I would try something new. Uh, so this is my something new. This is the way that I make projects interesting. I try something new and that um, that makes it, you know, there's suddenly a meaning. The meaning of this is ultimately I need a router table because I have projects sitting here. There's one there, there's one here, uh, there's one there that I need a router table for. And I just haven't done any of those yet because I need the router table. Uh, this is not leveling up, this is just, an NVR switch um, for the router table. The last router table I had, I just put a light switch on it. <laughs> uh, this, if you don't know what an NVR does, um, this is a on off switch. So you push the button to turn it on, you slap the paddle to turn it off, or you can lift this up and hit the thing here. There is a key, you can put a key in here so that it can't be accidentally pushed by a child or whatever. But the main safety feature of this is if it's unplugged, then the switch disconnects. So if you plug it back in, the tool doesn't automatically start. That's what the NVR part means, um, non-voltage relay or something like that. Uh, so it's a, basically a safety device. Um, and just having the big paddle is much easier, much nicer than, like especially if you're holding something and you're trying to fiddle with a switch, like turn the router off while the piece is still on the bit. It's much easier to just slap a paddle or hit it with your leg or whatever. So um, I really, I never really used these before, but I really like the one that's on my table saw because it's real simple to just reach down there and smack it. So I thought I'd pick one up for the router cabinet. So leveling up, I think that I think that is a thing uh, for me that I find to be paramount to my joy of making because uh, otherwise it's just repetition, and I have done repetition. I made um, I made the J Bates um, stacking like. Uh, camp chair and I had some customers order those and I have made those and I have enjoyed that experience if only because and that one's a pretty easy one to do uh, Jay made custom router templates and you basically just cut some pieces out route them and then finish them and screw them together and so that is like the kind of menial just kind of let's come down here put some music on and just go at it task I didn't mind doing that but will I build another router table for somebody? No, I won't because it's just, just do it. Like it's not that complex. The the J Bates chair is slightly complex. Like you have to have the templates, you have to have the tooling to be able to make it. And you can't just go buy, you know, with this particular project, you could literally just go buy those handy panels, those two by four foot panels and screw them together and you have a router cabinet. Like it's, just make it, right? So leveling up. Uh, I think that's an important, um, I don't know, is it important for you? Do you do you like to do things just because, do you like to make things more difficult, I should say? Uh, do you, or do you like to do what's familiar? I prefer to make things more difficult. I think I'm going to redesign the Arc Nova insert that I made for the board game, and I think I'm going to use box joints for that, and have uh, stop dados, or, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make like a, really fancy version just to make it more fun for me yeah let me know thank you thank you for being here as always thank you for liking commenting subscribing being amazing friends wonderful people i really appreciate you and i'll see you again on monday today's word you should know to sound smart is ledger main it is a noun meaning magic tricks are generally speaking trickery and deception the wilkinsons are one of the few of our families whose initial wealth did not come as a result of financial ledger main Ledger main. R L E G E R D E M A I N. I wonder now that I see the word ledger in there, uh, is that what the original like word was referring to? Was fudging the ledgers?